Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. We have got Hop Scene, Rob hey. Derbyshire. Hello, thanks for having me. No, brilliant, Rob. It's been, well, it's been a real treat having you on the show, really. We were meant to meet in the GVBF, and it was one of them, it was like one of them time machine days where you go there at 12, and next thing you know, you're 5 o'clock, you're going home. There's a whole lot of people and a whole lot of beer, so. <laughs> so, um, first of all, thanks very much to Chad, uh, Chad's Beer Reviews and Chad9976 for sending me this beer. It's the Armoran Hennepin. Um, oh, again. This is described as a Saison, a Belgium style Saison ale. This would be my first um, try at one of these. So I'd like Rob to explain exactly what this uh, is. We're going to try and then we'll crack it open. Uh, well, I guess um, the well known Saison is um, Saison Dupont from, from Belgium. Uh, a, a very kind of highly acclaimed Saison. I guess it, that's where it all started. There's a number of other Saisons around in Belgium. I, I guess they all kind of pale in comparison really to that one. Um, it's a style of beer that the Americans have grabbed hold of. And, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. It's got that um, quality that you'll get. You get that yeasty quality you'll get in a Belgian beer. Yeah. But you'll also get a bit more hoppy quality. Even in Belgium, like, it's a bit more hoppy than the average kind of blonde ale or something like that. But I guess the Americans have grabbed all this style and done as they do with anything, turn it up to 11, and uh, and this is the kind of thing that comes out at the end. Fantastic. Fantastic. Should we crack it open? Absolutely. Absolutely. I like the bottle cap on this beer, to be honest. Yeah, it's nicely presented. Just to show it off to the camera, if I if I can. Mine's on floor. <laughs> yeah, let's get pouring. The, I've watched a couple of these, and they seem lively beers. Ooh, they can be really lively. Oh, it looks. Oh, it looks like a pale ale. Mm. Very light looking. Yeah, I, I guess um, sometimes you expect a bit more haze. Uh, I've just I've just reviewed a, a double pilsner. Yeah. And they look quite similar, really. Yeah, they do. It's absolutely. Virtually identical. It does. Yeah, it just you. It has got that light pilsner looking mm. look about. I've got a nice, probably a nice one finger head here. Yeah, I've got a, just a, a a thin film really on the glass. Lovely. Should we get but the nice, nose? Cheers. A nice bit of carbonation as well, though. Cheers. Oh yeah, there is a lot of carbonation. Wow. Mm. I'm getting spice. Is yeah, spice it's, in it's absolutely. It's those um, kind of saison uh, yeast, yeast uh, esters, really. Right. But, um, it's kind of a bit like f old fruit that started fermenting in a way. Yes, <laughs> yes. Like... Maybe like an old old peach or something like that. Yes, yes, got that definite, that definite smell to it. Lovely, lovely. Plenty of cloves. Yes, yes. But not as not as full of cloves as like a wheat beer or like a a hefeweizen or something like that. Not as not as clove heavy as that. Wow. Yeah. I'm getting a, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a mild, mild medicinal quality, a bit like, a li only a little bit, because in large quantities it's going to be quite off-putting, but slightly like elastoplasts, very slightly though. Like a metally taste, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I suppose, yeah, yeah like, like, a, like you would in a, in a tin lager, I, I don't know, just not as bad as that, but... Mm, it's interesting. Yeah. It's definitely Belgian, without a doubt. Yeah. Despite being definitely. from despite being from upstate New York. With myself reviewing the Chimay, the Chimay Red, the West Bledron twelve, and some of the Daz beers, what mm. would you describe this I mean it's from it's a Belgium style beer. Is it would you say it's more like one of the Daz beers or um 
it's nothing like a Wash Battalion 12 or the Chimay. No. There must be a few different styles of, of Belgian beers. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, you know, I mean, there's loads. I guess your trappy styles are a, a blonde, a double, a triple, and a quad. Yeah. And then you've got things like this, um, Saisons, and uh, you, you, you do get some kind of stouts over there in small quantities. And then in Lambics, I guess, is the, the whole different kind of story, really. But um, I think it's a pretty faithful version of a Saison, as far as the smell goes, anyway. Yeah. Cheers, Rob. Absolutely. Cheers. Well, that's, that's nice. Mm. That's that's very nice. I've had some uh, clovey beers over the last year or so, which St. Hostel's um, Clouded Yellow, which was way too much. It was yeah. really, really clovey. This this seems to got the, the balance is perfect with the beer. Nowhere near yeah. too much. Absolutely. It's got a... It's got a load of carbonation, um, a very much like a bit like drinking champagne, and, and there is a slight kind of maybe like a chardonnay quality, like a that oakiness and fruitiness you get from something like chardonnay, but because it is very dry. Ooh. It is an extremely dry beer, and I I got that that nice zinginess on my tongue as well, with the, the beer is like bouncing around on your tongue. Oh, absolutely, lovely. Quite a lot of, quite a lot of lemon, lemon, but not like a, a fresh fresh lemon what you've just chopped into. Mm. Maybe when you've opened one, one, maybe one what you've used half of it. Yeah. And then you've left the other one, other half out on the counter for maybe a day or two. Gone back to it. And it's it's still tart and lemony, but it's it's not as kind of clean, I guess. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, and yes, but, but most most definitely. And the spice, the spice mm. is not quite initial, is it? It's kind of towards the middle of the the taste with a nice, as you say, citrusy. And um, would you? It's not malty at all, is it? Um. No, not really. I guess with Belgian beers, you'll get a lot more. Um, I guess you, you, the yeast adds a lot more uh, of the flavour. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, then a lot of beers do. Um, so I think when you're tasting Belgian beers, you will you will pick out flavours from yeast that you wouldn't get in like an IPA or a pale ale or a bitter or anything like that. Obviously, those flavours do exist there, but at the same time as the existing, don't take kind of forefront in the in the flavour. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I would you like to read out what's on the bottle, Rob, or would you like me to do it? Ah, oh, you can do it. Okay. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> Father Hennepin was a Belgian missionary who discovered Niagara Falls. Our Hennepin is a rare saison farmhouse ale, pale, hoppy, crisp, and rustic. Unlike Tintin, Marguerite, and Audrey Hepburn, Hennepin is famous but not the, for being Belgium. <laughs> so, absolutely. So it's what uh, I'm trying to find out what state is from in. Oh, it's part of the Duval family. It is, yeah. It's a, the um, the brewery is owned by the company, I guess, who owns uh, Duval. I think it's called Mortgart Duval, something like that. Right, Duval right. Mortgart or whatever it is. Um, so it is owned by a Belgian company. But it is, yeah, it's in upstate New York in Cooperstown, where as a, a friend of mine from New Jersey told me, that's where the Baseball Hall of Fame is. <laughs> Fantastic. So and you, you were saying uh, before we went on here, uh, Rob, that this yeah. Saison beer is really coming on in America. It, it is one of the leading um, growth areas for beer, is it? I'd say it's a, tre- it's a trendy style. Um, I guess one, one thing, I, um, ooh, Zach Avery told me that um, obviously he's in, he's in retail, so he yeah. says there's been a drop off of interest in Belgian beer in this country, but I think in America it's, it's growing and growing and growing. Is that interest? Um, Saison, I guess it's a it's a nice alternative to like a pale ale or an IPA during the summer. 
but yeah. sour, sour beers and uh, lambics, well, American version of a lambic or something like that, they really seem to be emerging styles, which are very popular with American brewers at the moment. Absolutely. From what I from what I can tell, anyway. <laughs> no, I mean, you can see why though, can you? I, I haven't, I I've not chilled it right down. I probably mm. took it out the fridge three quarters of an hour ago, and even though normally in the winter I just pick my beers up off the shelf, I've got such a cold dark kitchen, I just leave them scattered around. But yeah. I have cooled this because we're still in August. But it's still maintaining its flavours because sometimes when you cool a beer like this, you lose everything, don't you? Well, not everything, but you lose the best bits. Absolutely. And um, I, I guess sometimes for, for safety reasons, it's not a bad idea to put a Belgian beer in the fridge just because it might explode on you. But um, I, I put mine in the fridge, in fridge for about half an hour, took it out five minutes before we started. So yeah. there's a, yeah. a little bit of, it's not cold, but it's not warm. But I think it's it, it deserves to be drank maybe just below room temperature to make the most of it. If I was to ask you to rate this out of 10, Rob, what would you give this out of 10? Well, it's not my way to give it a rating. But oh, right, I see. <laughs> but, um, um, mm, I'd say... I'll do it, like the, I'll do it real ale guide style. Yeah, absolutely. I'll give, it, I'll give it seven out of ten. Seven, seven out, out of ten. ten. Respectable, but there's a lot. There's a lot better out there. It's good. It's good beer, but, but it's not blowing my socks off. I see. So if I was to look for the saison to absolutely blow my socks off, um, what what would I be looking for, Rob? I think the one you've got to start with is uh, saison du Pont. Right. Um, I, I was in. Um, a beer shop yesterday talking to a guy who works there about about saison. Yeah. And um, I was saying I really enjoyed the um, uh, brewery's uh, um, saison du Lent. I really yeah. enjoyed that because I think for me, had more hops. And he said he wasn't bothered about it because saison du Pont is all that he'll ever want because that's that's the uh, the archetypal um, saison for him. I guess it's it's got a lot of those qualities. The yeasty quality, it's nice and light, mm. um, but I guess with the Americans, they're probably going to add American hops, but I think with a traditional Belgian style, you'll get, I don't know, English hops, um, German hops, something like that, so uh, more of a herbal taste, I think you get in a traditional... Yeah. I'm, I'm not a big, big fan of cloves and all these different things they seem to be um, putting in beers where they, they really over, um, they really dominate the flavours. I'm not really a big fan of this. But I'm really, uh, not, sorry, not of this beer. I like this beer. It's not mm. overly done. But some of the, um, have you tried the, the, the clouded yellow, the Sun's Arsenal clouded yellow? Have no, I've never had that. And there's a few others as well. They seem to be really, really trying, pushing the boundaries of beer. But I'm not, overly fussed for that but I'm going to join you with a 7 out of 10 for this and I look forward to trying the Saison du Pont yeah um, definitely Rob if you'd like to give out all of your um, websites and uh, Twitter pages just so people can find you absolutely so um, the website what I primarily kind of uh, blog on is hopzine.com you don't need the W it's just hopzine h-o-p-z-i-n-e dot com uh, you can find me on Twitter, obviously, at Hopzine, and then my personal account is um, at B-G-R-T, Rob. Okay. So that's me. And Rob Darvish, you're on Facebook. I know. Oh, yeah, on Facebook, that's... yeah, and Hopzine, <laughs> Hopzine on Facebook, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I don't use it much often, no, to no. be honest. <laughs> Thanks for watching another edition of The Real Ale Guide. I think we both agreed 7 out of 10 is a good beer for this. Um, check out Rob's channel on YouTube, Hops, Hopsine on, on YouTube. You're bound to find him. He got some. He's reviewed some fantastic beers. I'm constantly tuning in to see, uh, just to keep on educating myself with beer. Thanks for joining <laughs> me, Rob. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me, Simon. Yeah, no problem. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
They don't want to. Oh, that's crazy.